everyone. So you may have seen in a previous video, I actually made cold fire. Fire that was cold enough that you could actually touch it. But today I'm going to be taking it one step further and doing the impossible. I'm going to be making freezing fire. Fire that when you aim it at something, it actually freezes it instead of burns it. Let me show you how I'm going to do it. Now a quick recap if you hadn't seen that video so that you'll understand this video. What was happening is that normally fire is called a partial plasma. Only some of the gas in the fire is ionized. So fire and plasma is normally hot. For example, when I have a high frequency, high voltage alternating current, what you can get is you can get a plasma arc that occurs because the voltage gets so high that it actually rips the electrons off the air molecules. And so you actually get an electric arc that forms. And that electric arc is extremely hot. In fact, you can burn stuff with it. But what I showed you in my last video is that you can actually cool this plasma down. Because even though the electron temperature in that plasma is extremely high, if you flow helium gas through it, which has a high thermal conductivity, and it also can form plasma arcs really well, if you flow helium through it, then you can actually cool the atoms down while the electrons stay hot. So you have hot electrons but cold atoms. And so that makes it so you can actually touch the fire. So you're able to actually touch the fire and it doesn't feel hot and it doesn't burn you at all. But in that video, in the comments section, a lot of people were asking me what was the temperature of the fire if I measured it. And all I could say is that it kind of felt cool to the touch because I was flowing helium through it. And then it dawned on me, I could actually make this fire any arbitrary temperature that I wanted depending on my gas temperature. So then I set out to do the impossible. I wanted to make a fire that actually freezes things instead of burns things. So let me show you my setup of how I'm going to achieve this. So instead of regular room temperature helium, I'm going to be cooling down the helium to negative 108 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 78 degrees Celsius with dry ice here. So my helium is being run through this dry ice right here and then it will come up and out my electrode at the top here. Now the problem with this setup is it's extremely hard to film this because in order to see the fire, the lights have to kind of be dim. But in order to see the ice form, the lights have to be a little bit bright. So I tried to find an in-between here where you can still see the fire, but you can also see the ice forming on the end of my stick here. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I just have a stick that I've dipped in water, and I'm just gonna hold it over the plasma and see if we can actually freeze the drop over the plasma. Now again, the reason I'm able to do this is because I'm still supplying the amount of voltage needed to ionize the helium, but I'm removing the thermal energy from the helium. So the helium atoms themselves are freezing cold, but the electrons that actually fly off of the helium atoms are thousands of degrees hot, but they're so small compared to the size of helium atoms that they can't transfer their thermal energy. So we have a plasma that's actually cold, in fact, freezing cold. It's solid ice now, look at that. Holy cow, it worked, look, it's turning into ice. This is freezing fire, that is so cool. Look at that, solid ice. There's ice on the end of there. It's frozen solid. Look how cold that is. It's freezing cold fire. Get a drop of water on the end here. And it's frozen. Look at that. OK, 
completely frozen. That's ice on the end of there. Look at that. 